first I wanted to continue my blog. Then I wanted to start a blog for people in university to help them cook. Neither of those things happened. Hi, my name is Linda. Some of you might recognize me from a blog that I was writing a few years back when I was like 15, 16, 17. Now I'm 20 and I'm basically a lot of things have happened and I'm basically living on the other side of the world as to what I was back then. Life's different, I've grown up. So this is a scary word. So now I'm doing a degree in fashion and I realized that I probably don't want to work in fashion, I mean in the clothing industry. I want to work in beauty because I love makeup and that's kind of why I'm here now. Also one of the reasons why I wanted to make this first video was to explain kind of what happened with my whole blog and why I completely stopped writing it. And that's kind of basically because um, I got mycoplasma and uh, a lot of you might know that are watching this that have read my blog or then nobody read it and I'm just imagining things that I got really sick and I was really sick for a really long time and actually if you look like at my posts from the blog it's every other post I'm like oh I'm feeling so good and then the next one is oh today I couldn't go to the school because I was feeling so weak yeah Linda it might be because you were like really underweight <laughs> and I still kept eating those freaking carrots and celeries for lunch, so good for me. Basically, I got mycoplasma and I got a lot of antibiotics and they couldn't figure out what was wrong with me and then they did. The doctor, like this guy, a uh, really good doctor, he just told me, oh Missy, uh, listen, you have to basically stop living your life. Uh, he told me, you can't run, you can't go to the gym, you can't go swimming, you can basically walk and that's what you can do. You can go to school but you can't take PE, you can't go to the gym, you can't do anything. And for me that was kind of like a... because I was 16 at that time and like I had lost so much weight and fitness had become my life and the gym had become my life and swimming and running and just being outdoors and then this guy comes and tells me like oh you have to stop it you can't do that anymore so I was just kind of like stunned and I got a bit not depressed but I'd say I just kind of gave up because I didn't see the point anymore if I was just gonna get sick then I might as well get better and not do anything but I was really sad that I couldn't go to the gym or I couldn't go and do whatever the heck I wanted and it kind of like it was a really big thing for me so yeah, and then that led me to stop writing my blog because my blog was all about, like I said, healthy eating and fitness and all these things. And I wasn't doing those anymore. And so I didn't see any point in writing my blog. And so I stopped and I decided to give myself some time off because I didn't feel like I was worth writing a blog anymore because I wasn't the same person that I was before so I didn't see the point of writing the blog and then in the months came into these two, three years that now I haven't been writing it and it's been a long time <laughs> so yeah, this is, this is me, this is what this is gonna be <laughs> and I hope uh, it's 
not gonna be as awkward as it is right now for me. I, I like it better with the camera also because, you know, I like talking. That's why I was writing the blog because I like to write and I like to talk about things and I like to help people and that's just what I do. And I want to continue doing that because when I was writing my blog I felt so good that I was like helping people to whatever they wanted to do like lose weight, gain weight, gain muscle, gain confidence, anything. I felt like a lot of people were coming up to me in those years like in that time that I was writing the blog and saying like what you're doing is so cool. And for me as a 15 year old it was like really I'm so cool. <laughs> no, it was it was just so nice to hear people say like oh that post made me feel really good because I realized this and this and it's just like a big thing for me as a 15 year old. As a 16 year old. So yeah, I wanna keep doing that and I wanna keep doing that now through makeup. Because I feel like I'm good at explaining, but I don't want to sound like I'm bragging myself again. You know, I just, this is what I want to do and that's it. <laughs> also because I think I'm going to learn something myself. New things and be more um, experimental and all that stuff. Because in the end of the day, makeup is an art form. It's not just you know, the everyday stuff that you do. It's also, you know, colors and how you're feeling like you can change it and it changes you and the amount that you put and how that makes you feel. And it's just so awesome to experiment with it. And it's awesome, like, I just love it. And I love when I do other people's makeup and they just go, like in the end their facial expressions are just the best because I just feel so good and I don't know I want to keep doing what I was doing when I was 16 with my blog with fitness now through makeup so yeah <laughs> um, I hope you'll be hearing from me soon uh, I have a lot of free time right now so I guess I'll be popping a new video out in the next few days more related with makeup if you have any suggestions that you would like me to do or to try or anything just DM me or whatever I'm I don't have a lot of followers so I I really answer to everybody down below you can find my Instagram my Facebook and all my other social medias and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!